On one hand, you have half of all Montanans with still major concerns over the vaccine. On the other, a motivation to keep Montana's tribal elders safe. And while it's still hard to retrieve exact vaccine numbers for our tribes, we do know that Montana's reservation numbers are higher. But the question remains this, what's working there that might not be working elsewhere? Just southeast of Montana's largest city. A lot of people value good health. Sits Montana's largest reservation. A lot of people want to live. On the Crow Indian Reservation, COVID has taken its toll. The reservations really have been affected at a higher rate than other populations in the state. 84 deaths. We've all been together, you know, mitigating and fighting COVID. Cases still extremely high. In the height of the pandemic, Bighorn County had the second highest number of COVID cases in Montana with our native population suffering the greatest. Indian Health Services says the country's indigenous population more likely to die from COVID-19 than white Americans. It's been really tough on that population. Here on the Crow Reservation, members are being killed by what they say is an invisible enemy. It's somewhat emotional for me, but the first death of a Crow tribal member was at Lodge Grass. And it was kind of interesting. The pastor said, there is this invisible enemy amongst us. We have to fight this, in this invisible enemy. enemy. A unified voice was needed to save lives. From mass testing sites to now mass COVID vaccine clinics, the Response Unified Coalition, made up of Bighorn County, the Crow Tribe and Indian Health Services, set out with a goal in mind, get shots in arms. I think we just always got to be really show our due diligence in, in, uh, in combating it. Here on the Crow Reservation, the vaccine rate sits at 55% higher than the statewide average. We do know that the number is higher because many of the members of the community have received their vaccines in other locations. Some estimates have it close to 80%. But because tribal land intercepts with county boundaries, reported numbers are hard to pin down. Nationally, vaccine rates on our Native American reservations are high. The CDC now tracking vaccination progress by race and ethnicity. And according to research done by the New York Times, that number for Bighorn County is currently 77%. Without the vaccination, there's too high of a death rate. And this could be why. The Crow Tribe implementing an incentive of $300 to anyone who's fully vaccinated. More than that, it's tradition and respect that run deep here. One of the things that's been instilled in our traditions and our culture is that we've been told to respect the elders. Here on the reservation, we have multi-generations living in a household. They want to get vaccinated to protect them. In Crow Agency, Andrea Lutz, MTN News.